I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of that. <laughs> no, you can't. Nah. I'm going to remix that. <laughs> By next week, I'm going to try and remix that. Yeah. Let that the right good there times roll. But what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Can We Not Podcast, the podcast with me, your host, Evan Combest, New York comedian, here with my good friends, your co-hosts. We got Akai and Kenneth. And then we're here with our guest once again, friend of the show. Two weeks a- in a row. Yeah. Mr. Confuzzle Stephon. Bear. Stephon Mr. Panda. Bear, yes. The got, Panda Man. He just Panda keeps Panda showing Panda. up. We got to get him out of the studio. Exactly. <laughs> we got to kick him out. He, never, he was he never actually here. Last, yes. He, he never was left here from the came. last episode. Yeah. It's crazy. Listen, exactly. Listen, security saw me. They're not, they're not going to take me out. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back, Stephon. Welcome back to the Can We Not podcast. As I said, it's me. All of us in this room have been friends for over 10 years. We talk about everyday topics and we try to do deep dives on how it connects to society and social standards and what's going on today. We talk about it, ask each other deep personal questions because we've been friends for so long and we're not afraid to give our real opinion on it. So if you like that, make sure you, everybody who's watching the video on live YouTube, stream. shout out to y'all. Shout out to the live stream. All the time, all the time. <laughs> on liveme.com. Yes. yes, yes, please. I yes. have an applause button. You, but it's more genuine when it's from us. This is a genuine applause. This is, this is authentic. This is, yes, right. exactly. But shout out to everybody on the live stream. If you want to come follow us, you can go to, to SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, the Can We Not podcast. You can search us on there. And we're also on YouTube for everybody watching, youtube.com slash Evan Cumbest. So make sure to follow us on there. And hello, everybody on YouTube, if you're watching us. Hey, make YouTube. Sure you, See make sure you, you comment, subscribe, give us suggestions. There you go. Please acknowledge my existence. Leave a like and share yeah, with your friends. Yes, exactly. please acknowledge my existence because there's one follow that seems to just it's only like Evan and Kenneth. Don't, don't. Kenneth is a second. <laughs> Don't Apparently. talk down about JP Rass, bro. That's, oh, that's if we're going to bring anybody into that's this, we I feel like we. Jake, Cass, Jake yes. Casey, I'm sorry. Not, Jake Casey. Yeah. Jake, Jake, is, yeah. Jake Shout Casey. Shout out to him. That bro, like. Akai called him this on in the comments, the timestamp champ. That yes, boy, yes. he sits through every single second of every episode that we've done, as if we've done more than two. But <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to pay him. Exactly. That, we can't pay you yet. We can't pay you. That, like, yo, he better he better timestamp this shout out, bro. Yo, Jack Casey, we looking for you, bro. You for this. We can't so, give him a genuine applause. Or? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got a show to run. <laughs> Moving forward. We definitely do have a show to run. Guys, yes. we have a lot of topics to talk about today. I don't even think we're going to be able to get to it, but thank God that's uh-huh. what next week is for. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, 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 Evan, start us off, bro. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah. How's every, <laughs> how am I doing? Yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy? Because it's been, this is the third episode. And I always ask y'all how y'all doing. Y'all talk about yourselves. <laughs> Nobody ever asked me. We never get to. I literally you're the host. just did. I mean, yeah. How, how are, are you? you doing? I felt like if nobody pointed it out in the comments, you would have never said nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> if nobody was like, yo, they never asked Evan how he's doing. Just going through the most depression time of my life right now. But it's That's cool. why we're here. Can we not go through depression? We're not here to talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> different topic for a different time. Exactly. We don't got enough time on the hair waves, bro. Exactly. Not for his too depression. Much, too much time. Too exactly. Much time. But he's, he's really depressed. Yo, Safon, how you doing? <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. That's the depressed side of the table. Depre- I mean, Jesus, that's why we're know. on this side of the table. Exactly. Mad that's the depression over that's here. The dark, <laughs> that's the dark corner. You've got the like, there was dark a cloud over there. On that <laughs> side. Welcome to the dark side. No, I don't want to I think I got these sunglasses on. Exactly. But can we get started with the topics? Can we not? Yes. This is a story that I wanted to touch on last week, but like I said, we ran out of time, and some stories do come out probably like the morning or the day before we record these podcasts. So sometimes I feel like a little, I feel hesitant to want to speak on it because I would like more information to come out to make sure that we all the bases are covered. I don't like just having knee jerk reactions to certain topics, but one topic in particular spoke out to me and I want to speak on it Michael B. Jordan. Oh. Not the athlete. (laughs) Not the athlete. Jordan. Not the athlete. Isn't but Michael Jordan's middle name not B? No. B. There's there's exactly. no B, though. There's no confusion. It's not Michael Ball and Jordan. No. <laughs> oh, Stop it. it should be. <laughs> it should be now. <laughs> he did just now. What's his middle name? <laughs> Michael Ball and Jordan. <laughs> exactly. But no. Michael B. Jordan, known actor. Is that me? That's you. Oh, we out of time already. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> hey, oh, we man. didn't even cover Michael B. Jordan, his real name. Stay tuned his... next week. <laughs> See, <Exactly. he's... laughs> Figured it out. But Michael B. Jordan, known actor, you know, he's in the Marvel movies. He's best known now for Killmonger and his role in the Creed movies where he's playing Apollo Creed's son. He has been seen, and he's also had issues with this in the past, but he was seen recently on vacation from his set. He was filming the movie, he's been on vacation, and he's been seen in a club with a woman that was not of African 
American, American descent. descent. And then he was also on a boat with a yacht party with a bunch of women. None of them were black. And for some odd reason, people seem to have an issue with this. Um, I hang and around white people all the time. It's called at work. work. <laughs> it's called work. <laughs> no, I can't hang. Can we not hang out with other people of other but races? If you still want to be employed. <laughs> what? But. <laughs> Gotta people, get the bag. People have had issues with Michael B. Jordan with this in the past where he's had other movies and roles like that where people have always tried to speak out that because he doesn't, he hasn't been seen dating black women that people have just assumed he doesn't find his own gender, I mean his own gender, his own race attractive. <laughs> he doesn't find people of his own race attractive. Uh, and people have been calling him out for that saying that he hates black women and we've never seen you with one. How come you don't love black women? This and that. And he spoke out against it and tried to say that people should love who they want to love but people are not buying it. And now, and it's funny because they normally had this hate for him but then when the movies come out they love him still yeah all the women love him guys want to get his hair cut everybody <laughs> wants to be <laughs> michael b jordan they, they shut up <laughs> <laughs> let me see your hair you got a very successful video on youtube with that yes. same exactly. haircut i know it was strategic marketing <laughs> <laughs> the cut buddy is too but doesn't matter a lot of people spoke out about this and like recently he came out he made an um, Instagram live video speaking on it again like I don't know why people get so worked up on what, what you see me around and assuming you know my life and assuming what you know I like and don't like and he was just trying to say that people have their preferences and is it is it okay to have preferences or not can we not have our own preferences that's not the can we not topic of the week but, but it kind of goes into that we should yeah. title so, dropping already yeah I guess so <laughs> <laughs> we trash with follow that. the script follow the script <laughs> go ahead though that's what? <laughs> oh you want you want me to speak on if we can't have our own preferences yeah go always ahead always start with me oh I, do you I, have a preference i mean i feel like everyone on earth has their own preference you know it doesn't need to be a certain it, we're not all cookie cutter people we, we're not all following the same mold we all like and love who we like and love you know we we some people like shorter people some people like taller people some people like people of a thinner build some more muscular stuff like that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with liking something outside of the status quo but do you feel like if you have a preference that's kind of outside of your own race do you think that speaks to you not finding your own race and not finding yourself attractive in a way do, do you think it speaks to like a deeper self-hate no not at all there's no like I the way I the way I was raised like my parents are in a, a interracial relationship but I'm I'm of an interracial relationship like my father was uh, Puerto Rican and Portuguese and my mother is Guyanese and there's nothing wrong with that and then my wait you not black no he's we established this, what? we he's established really this black, from though. episode one we on episode really three black. get with it or get lost listen man the listeners wait. didn't know that people watching this video yo yo this dude is mad cool right here this is my nigga don't, don't come to if y'all been black. watching from the first man. episode y'all know that i'm not black listen they don't didn't know be what you was don't be but slick. now they know he's just misguided he <laughs> used a little wayne line right there too you call get with it or get lost really <laughs> said now we know now and now you know the more you know exactly but like but like i was saying like my parents are from an interracial relationship and then my older sister she's in an interracial interracial relationship as her, herself her her husband is puerto rican and dominican and now they have a child not now but they have a child who is of course from an interracial relationship I don't see anything wrong with that. Like the majority of my relationships have been with someone outside of my background, my culture. I never saw anything wrong with that. My family never said anything like negative against that. So the way I was raised, I was ingrained upon me. It's like, yo, there's nothing wrong with who you love as long as you love them like purely. Do you thought I was going to give you an applause for that? I really did. I was like, I was, I was, I was that asshole. I was like, that, that's why there was like one second of dead air. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel good now speaking about myself. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, no, that it's was nothing. cool, but I feel like I want to make sure I talk to the black person in this room. Stefan. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm recognized Boo. finally. <laughs> Boo! That's not your sound, boy. Get the fuck out of here. Listen here, Portuguese. <laughs> no. Okay. Because you, you, as somebody who is a whole black person, do you feel... I hope I am. <laughs> you did Ancestry.com. You have... 24% Ghanaian. Ghanaian? Uh, I don't know how to... I don't I, know. No, I of believe course it. you don't. <laughs> Colonizer. <laughs> That's no, my guy. So wait, so wait, what's the other 76%? <laughs> a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's Damn. the best answer. <laughs> That's but, crazy. All my life I thought you was 100%. <laughs> only slightly. But... How do you feel about that? Do you think that if you date women outside of, you know, 
your your color do you think that speaks to like a deeper self-hatred within your own skin color i honestly feel like it just speaks to you just wanting to get familiar with other people like you shouldn't just limit yourself i mean everybody's like oh you know you got a date within the same race but at the same time you got to remember there's so many different people out here new york is a melting pot in itself you know like i have been in all interracial relationships except for the first one that i had but it's not like it's just because oh this is what i want i just get in tune with the person and the person's personality that's really it can i can i interject it's not it's not about who they are on the outside it's more about how you vibe with them yeah, right? yeah. exactly that's 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 how i was raised as well so yeah. you keep trying to get this applause but it, I'm not, I, really, you're not I, I will say this if as i don't get applause by the end of this episode i'm a i'm gonna have a fit listen <laughs> i'm lucky, buddy because we're in, we know you we're your friends listen, we're gonna hold you, you to get this. no applause <laughs> My no brother, what, what are you fighting? To, to yeah. put a button on it, I'll really say this. With Michael B. Jordan and his situation, he's a celebrity. He's a superstar. He should be able to have free reign of whoever he wants to be with in his life. Like, you know, maybe he's just dating right now. It's dating. He's not married to the person. But at the same time, why judge a person, not just a man, but a person on who their preference is? Anybody can go with anybody. Yeah, lights out. Exactly. That's how <laughs> mad I am about that. Ding, ding. It was on point. Money. Get the money back. I have the soundboard. Stop making sound I effects. I have a little soundboard. But you can't hype yourself up. You look crazy. No, I don't. I have the soundboard. Let me you hype you up. You look crazy talking Sometimes about Sometimes you got to be your own hype man. You yeah. got to believe in yourself, but don't be your own hype man. That's lame. <laughs> Stefan, <laughs> do you have any, like, opinions on this topic? Definitely. Definitely got opinions on it. Because, like, it's, it goes off of, like, what you guys say in a general aspect of like this is a whole big world mm. why are you limited to what your ethnicity your gender you know basically your color that does not define what you should interpret as you know you're like you you know your per, you know pers- persuasive um you know Perfect. attraction to like what it is a person is because you know skin don't mean nothing yeah Skin don't mean nothing. You know, white with white, black with black, Indian with Indian. You know, it doesn't matter what the race is because, like I said, if you click, that's what I need. I need that vibe. Mm-hmm. I need to know, are you down with me? Are you going to be into the same stuff I am? You know, do we have the same passion that we could build on? Because if I'm going to date, you know, I'm Spanish. And if I'm going for somebody that's just Spanish, you know, of, of that descent, then that's just me trying to stay within my, my culture. Yeah. You know? <laughs> He's try- Look at him trying to stay within the culture. Like- I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't get this, man. T- Tone the producer disagree with you so much. He's he was taking the mic away. <laughs> so Tone just disagree with me because he likes rice and beans. It's oh, okay. you know, it's okay. Shout out to Tone the it's producer okay. <laughs> for, letting his, so, for letting his opinion be known. Okay. He, he had to, he had to make it. Play. That was so funny. <laughs> it was like he froze. <laughs> know how to talk anymore he couldn't move with the mic he just stood there like an idiot you simple-minded motherfucker you could have moved i'm just saying i didn't know if that was my cue to get off air all right you're done speaking buddy i can't click with this no more take my mic <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let, let me just close. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't it, matter. It, it, it does, matter. I need that on my Post in post. And post. post. Future post. Evans. In post. Put it in there. Stay tuned next week for the new sound. Uh, sound I don't oh, give a fuck. Goodness. Nothing you was just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's irrelevant at this point. God. Thanks, Tom. Jesus Christ. Tell the producer strikes oh, again. Oh, my goodness. God damn. I have a Twitter thread on this very topic before I give my own opinion that I want to read. Go ahead. Oh, man. I got to. No, I'm not going to get my dra- dramatic music on yet. Not yet. Wait, yeah. Yeah. For Don't your own opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Whatever. But no, no, because normally I do that for other people's stories. When okay. I like, do live reads of other people's stories. Okay. There's a Twitter thing, so I don't really agree with this, and I'm hopefully I don't read this man's stuff wrong, but this is um, at username Chris Loves Everybody. With two everybody. Everybody. everybody, and this is really like ooh, 
He says men have preferences, women have requirements. I want to explain this further, but every time I say something that makes sense, y'all tell me I'm angry at the world and insecure. Before anyone else gets butt hurt and ransacks my timeline without actually thinking about what I'm trying to say, I'll explain it. And if you don't get it by then, I'm just going to say, okay, the fuck out of (laughs) y'all. We all have preferences and we all have requirements. That's cool. But those two are totally different terms with different meanings. And I feel like a lot of us get the two mixed up. I prefer women who are brown skin, but I'm not going to turn a woman who's lighter or darker if the chemistry is there. There's a preference. If I'm wrong, please tell me. My homegirl prefers dark skinned men, but she requires them to look like a linebacker. I'm not making this shit up. She said that once. The latter of that is a requirement because not every dark-skinned male will look like a linebacker. Once again, please tell me if I'm wrong. That's all I'm saying. Men have preferences that are a little higher than their requirements. Women have requirements that are a little higher and sometimes more unrealistic than their preferences. Ladies, y'all have more requirements than you do preferences. Realistically, a preference shouldn't stop you from getting to know someone who could end up being your soulmate, which is why I believe some of y'all mistakenly have placed your wants and needs into the same category as having a greater liking of one thing over another. And I'm not saying men are 100% absolved of doing this too. I'm saying that a lot of us have our own definitions mixed up. It's sad that I can look at the responses and tell who actually reads the whole thread. I want a man who makes good money. He doesn't have to be a millionaire just as long as he's financially stable equals preference. Or things like, I want a man who makes seven figures requirement. See the difference? I know a woman who... Who um, I want a woman who knows how to cook, but if she doesn't know, then I can show her how to cook and we can take cooking classes together. That's a preference. She, she has to know how to cook. That's a requirement. You see the difference? Even though cooking is a basic survival skill everyone should have, it's not something everybody should have. That's for like differences between preferences and requirements. Mm. How do you guys feel about that? Stefan? You're dead wrong for that. Mm. He's wrong for that? It's like... I mean, putting the standards out there as far as, like, trying to, you know, make him sound like he's above a requirement. Because at the end of the day, you're typing, bro. You type in to, to get, like, readers and responders to, you know, acknowledge what kind of comments you're making out there. But how I know that you're not the same person you're typing about. Mm. Very true. Because you're saying one thing that you're focused on right now. You're focused on trying to, you know, um, tell, tell a story. But you're not telling your own story because at the end of the day, you may have these requirements you don't even recognize. Yeah. That oh, you know, uh, he said what? I'm into brown skinned girls, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of brown skinned girls? Are you are you telling me like tall, big, short? Uh, but he th- just, none of them. But he didn't cocaine, specify. None, but I'm saying yeah. he didn't specify. Yeah. And that's the thing. He labeled on what his physical requirements were at first. You know, as far as anything else after that, you know. I feel like you mean a hypocrite because you know, we got to talk deeper about that. He has to talk deeper about that. Let it be known what specifics he's really talking about in and out. Okay. What about you guys? What do you guys feel? Honestly, I just feel like people put too much on, like, just emphasis on who it is that they get with. It's like, again, like we said earlier. Like, okay. Yes. Yes. It was a little late, but, you know, it came for the kid, you know. <laughs> nah, but, like, we put too much emphasis on who it is that we decide to match up with. Like, when it comes down to it behind closed doors or who it is that you're with, you're going to vibe with them. However it is that you vibe with them. Like, you know, we spoke about it last week, like, you know, how family and friends like, you know, play a role in your relationships. Now you bring it back to that. I feel like we kind of put too much of a stigma on who it is that we go for. And sometimes that persuades our judgment, you know, like, Oh, my mom's might not like this person because she's black or like, you know, this or that Latino or whatever. But it never comes down to that. Even with how I was raised, it never came down to that. Like, I, I, I've i made friends with so many different people. It's the same thing with relationships. You have to know other people, you know? So. Yeah, I'm with you. I like that. <laughs> um, my yes, personal T'Challa. opinion on this, since thank you for asking. <laughs> I never how do you feel, Evan? <laughs> you always get back to yourself regardless. It's my anyway, we're going to put a button on this. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Man, what? 
I have the soundboard. I, you know what? You know what's crazy about that? I have the soundboard. The people really like my soundboard. I've never seen anybody comment on your soundboard. Nobody knows I'm on the show. But also, <laughs> speaking of soundboards, guys, we play a lot of sound effects on this podcast. A lot of them you guys love. Some of them you don't like. I would like for you to comment some of your favorite soundboard effects because every week I do sound add. Sound off on soundboard. Exactly. Heaven ain't shit. I would like for you guys to comment soundboard. on some of your favorite sound effects and some of the sound effects that we use that you may not like because I bring up new ones every week and all of them can't stay. So... Please vote on them, and we'll let you know if they stay. And if they don't stay, you'll hear it in the next episode. So please feel free to comment on that. Now, back to my opinion on this topic to close it out because we've been on this for too long. <laughs> um, I feel like, especially going even tying it to personally, I feel like is who you prefer to date is on you as long as you're not doing it at the cost of somebody else. Because you can compliment one thing without having to, you know, diss the other thing. Definitely. You can't be like, yo, I love almond milk. Fuck regular milk. Like, you could just say you like almond milk. You don't have to like, because you have a note, because that's how it always feels amongst, you know, black men who don't like dating black women. They like to say, I like dating Spanish women or white women because I don't like black girls. They're mm. too ghetto. They're too strong. Mm. They're too angry. They, you know, they always have to, you know, diss the other to compliment another one to make another one seem up higher up on the pedestal you don't have to do that you can date who you want to date with not at the cost of another person's skin color you don't have to make somebody feel bad for exactly. a, for the skin they're born in exactly it, just to say you want to date somebody or have sex with somebody who looks a certain way like you could do it one way without the other so if that's what you're doing that's cool people who do that at the cost of somebody else you're, you're a piece of shit you shouldn't do that and that's Press how i'm going to yeah Press that, your own button, man. That was flames, man. It's a little late, but yeah, man. Seriously. It's a bit of a delay on it, but it's all good. Doesn't We're just matter. trying to get the soundboard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. Cool. But that's the end of that topic. Um, guys, let us know what you think about people who have preferences. If you have any preferences or story about people with preferences, please comment them down below. Let us know. And before we move on to the next topic, I want to give a quick shout out to Sky's Crescent Radio. Normally, we have the sign it's up like, in yeah, the studio. Yeah, we forgot to put it up. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's okay. It's all I just want to make sure I shout it out. And go. also, always shout here, out City here. World Radio. We're recording live from Manhattan Studios Dude. near the Freedom Tower because we out here. You know, we the hottest thing since Chicken Grease out Yo, here. That's facts. So wait, making wait, sure all those other cop, those those <laughs> cast pods out there are just uh, they just hating. Bro. I don't know about any other podcast. Listen, there's other podcasts that come out. It take them a while to build it up. Not everybody's as hot as us. As soon as we, grease. soon as we get grease. out, soon as we came out, there are other podcasts. We, we set, we, we set the, the standard. Po- we are setting the standard. I don't know about the standard, but we at are. least we're doing. No, something. we are setting <laughs> like the standard on a consistent basis. What we, what we are doing, just about. Yo, right? that's what we're doing. Yeah. But yo, let's let's move on to the next topic. Hmm. Hmm. I have two of them. Oh, One yeah. is about <laughs> something even. <laughs> Yo, it's, oh, the, it's, that yo it's that crazy that <laughs> it's that bad. Oh, he's Damn. allergic to the bullshit. Damn. He's allergic to it. Damn. Topics, what? is that real? Yeah. Is that real? Because we have some, because we, we don't really have all the time in the world about it. But, matter of fact, let's just get to the thing that you were talking about last week, the, what you wanted listeners to comment on. Oh, yeah. Relationship red flags. Relationship red flags, yeah. Where we were talking about whether or not if people have red flags and are in the relationships and what are some signs of it. Kenneth put up a post about it on his IG and on his Facebook, and some of the listeners have responded back to him and commented what their thoughts on it. Yes. So, Kenneth, so, get up. All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I... I put it up on IG and I didn't get that many, but on Facebook I got plenty. So it's really just coming off of my Facebook. And so a lot of it was a lot of people repeating the same thing. Like the big the big three that I saw are the three that I'm going to list now. So the first one that like a lot of people commented on was jealousy. Mm. A big red flag in a relationship is if someone is like insanely jealous about like even like the tiniest thing. Like if, if you put up a picture on social media and you got a lot of the – the opposite gender just like giving it a lot of likes and a whole lot of attention that's what social media is for i don't i don't really see a big issue with that but that's that's for them that's their personal red flag i'm not gonna i'm not gonna discount that the second one i saw which i know we can all attest to is if the person is too toxic toxic for you Okay. Wait. Wait. Can, can, did they give yeah. any examples of what toxic means? Because I feel like toxic yeah. is a term that's being what? very used very loosely these yes. days. Like, toxic yes. and en- once niggas found out about toxic in the word <laughs> energy, like they have been running <laughs> with that word about <laughs> everything. <laughs> Man, what? I hate when people give you bad vibes and bad energy. 
Because they don't wash the dishes. What? That <laughs> actually, no actually, actually, actually. Can we just? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, yeah. I, I just, no, I no, that. yeah. Yeah. No, but, I see that as a. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, like sometimes at the time when you're in the relationship, you can't view it as toxic because you're looking at everything with rose colored glasses. You're just like, oh, I'm just so happy to be with this person. This per- like the way they act. Oh, they're just quirky. They're just, they're just different. They, they're just looking out for me. And then after the relationship ends, you're looking back like, wow, this person really just went out of their way just to make me miserable and then go like do absolutely everything for them and nothing for me they never th- there was no reciprocation mm. you know like i know i was personally in a relationship like that i i'm pretty sure you guys could have been in relationships like that we won't we won't get into that now <laughs> we don't have all that time bro. Don't, don't look at me like that but the one that really stuck out to me was uh a gentleman put on my my facebook post his his girlfriend wife whatever is not allowed to have male friends and the reason why that stuck out to me is because uh a a female friend of mine replied to that comment saying ladies if a man says you cannot have uh male friends then that's not the type of guy for you that's a big red flag That was no point. I'm just here to help you out, bro. Thank you. Appreciate that. No applause button. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> applause. Applause, no applause. No applause. I'll give you the fist bump, but not the applause it. yet. It's all good. But I agree I agree with that. Like if you if you're trying to dictate the type of friends that your that your significant other can have, like if I'm dating if I'm dating a woman and I'm telling her, All right, I don't want you to have any male friends, they gotta be gone from your life right now and tell those niggas that you, that you're officially off the market, you can't even look at them no more. Like that shit, that that doesn't apply with me. Like, I can't, I don't feel comfortable telling people who they can and can't see. Like, like I, I've known dudes who've done that and I've told them straight up like, yo, you can't, you can't dictate who that person can and can't even like talk Mm -hmm. to. Because like more, more often than not, it's friends that have been there longer than this relationship has been. And then you can't, you can't be that controlling of an aspect in their life. Like they're not a chess piece. You can't move them a certain way and then make them do what you want them to do they're their own person yeah you know like how do how do you guys feel about that it's like who are you (laughs) (laughs) why do you feel like you got this right like i've been alive for however many years we've you know i've I've formulated these friendships these bonds whatever man woman and you probably just enter my life we started dating maybe a couple months and you're trying to dictate this fuck out of here (laughs) (laughs) no exactly it's like like at the end of the day this person could be you know someone i consider family at this point you know this person is someone I'm rel- I've relied on, or whatever the case may be, and you think you're just gonna waltz into my life and, <laughs> <laughs> and just gonna move with the mic? This, I'm learning. I am learning. Waltz into my life, take out everything I love. <laughs> you know, people, you gonna silence me. You know, people like Tone just waltz into my tone, life. Tone producer, <laughs> my, my, who tone. are you? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, you don't get to dictate what I can and can't do because you don't have that right. No, no one has that right. It's at the end of the day. It's just a matter of fact of what I'm going to allow you to have an influence in my life. You don't you don't get to tell me at the end of the day, yo, I need you home by this time. I need you to check in with me at this time. I need you to make sure that at the end of the day, if you have social media, don't let nobody come and comment certain things. If it happens, remove it. Hmm. Like, bro, don't censor me. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't censor me. me. Don't censor me. <laughs> don't censor me. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Akai? How do you feel about me, that? Me personally, I, I've come from that side of <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> that air of jealousy, and you know it is very limiting. You know, it I, I feel like it goes back into the jealousy kind of thing from the first part that you said. Yeah. As far as limiting who you can see and who you can't see, I like Stefan was saying, you basically have people that were there before that person. Yeah. You can't just remove that person from my life and just be like, okay, all right, this is cool. I'm I'm good with this. Nah, it doesn't work. You know. Yeah, you gotta whoa. No, exactly. exactly. You gotta put the brakes on it. Like I can't really be about that. Like there's people that I had to kind of cut ties with because you know I, I it seemed like we were too close or too friendly or anything like that. And honestly, that's how I am as a person. Wait, wait. Too fr- yes hey, yes now when you say too friendly was that from your perspective or the other person's perspective? that was from the other person's perspective see i can't i can't say that because i've had that like happen to me as well like 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 you i know. like same same situation as you i've yeah. had i've had female friends that like i've Evans had to 
Uh, yes. They can't hear me. But we can I tell can them. See you. Are you okay? <laughs> we can see you, Don. Stop Evan, are fucking you? snitching. <laughs> tell your story. I'm asking you if you're okay. <laughs> he just dying I'm your in the friend, corner. Evan. Remember, this is depression, so he's dying internally. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> right. yeah. back, back to you. It looks back to you. Back to me. Please. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> but... <laughs> And just to put a button on what I was saying, <laughs> go ahead. I'll, I'll just say this: it's something that shouldn't happen in relationships, especially newer relationships. Now, when we're like you know in different spaces, we're all living our different lives. It's just like you said, you should be an individual. You should be able to do that. It's like a perfect example of uh, Will Smith saying this on his IG. Like he's he's the new Uncle Phil. Like I'm again, shout out to first Will Smith. things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Yes. For Will real. Smith gives yeah. out like real rude, advice. Evan. We were all rest in peace in Uncle Phil. Why didn't you join us? He's dying. Anyway, just to put the button Yo, on that. Yo, comment, <laughs> commenters in the in the comment section, boo oh, Evan. Why are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to do that on Marshall. He's looking for this timestamp champ. <laughs> Jake. Jake. No, that's not it's Jake. Jack. It's Jack. Jack. Jake, <laughs> Jake is somebody else. And shout out to Jake if you're listening. Shout to out to Jake Jack. and Jack. Jack. Jack and Jake. I don't know who Jake is. Jack I know and Jake Jake is. I know who Jake is. Anyway. Anyway, put a button on what you were saying, then I can put a button on mine. I was yeah, say, no, Will Smith is a great life perfect. coach on Instagram. If you're not following yes, him, you should probably yes, follow please him. He do. gives great advice. Go please ahead. do. No, but yeah, just to end it and just to cap it, don't let somebody else dictate You know what it is that you do and, and can't do. I mean, if they said that about your mom, it's like, yo, you're too friendly with your mom. Wait, what? <laughs> she gave birth to me. Like. Did you raise me? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do you, are you paying my bills? Because she paid my rent. You know, <laughs> for the first my mom taught of my me life. all these things why you like me, so you better back up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the moms. Shout out Word. to the moms. Shout yeah, out to all the moms, moms on the podcast. Mama. Word. Mama. Y'all done? We done. I'm not, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. I Just a quick like one minute thing. Like Just to piggyback off of what he said, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm no longer going to let someone dictate who I can and can't affiliate with inside of a of a friendship while I'm in a relationship like that that to me made no sense like like I was saying like I had all these female friends who actually looked out for me it wasn't even in a romantic like sorry uh sexual way it was just like yo they're just they were just genuine friends of mine and then now I I've completely lost contact with them because of that relationship like I've tried to mend fences and build rebuild those bridges and now those are just permanently gone and I have no one else to blame not even that other person I was with but myself for allowing that to happen oh. I don't get applause but I get that you dead ass you don't want Aww. no sympathy you don't want sympathy. no sympathy I'm trying to help you out bro so. sympathy button you kill him you so can't get no applause ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was mad real. Yeah. <laughs> what you think is what you just said. Mad real. Just want to make sure. <laughs> so, can I move on? Or you? Yes, yeah, sure. Please, please do. <laughs> so, guys, yes, let us know about how you feel about everything we just talked about. All those red flags. How do you feel about people trying to put limitations on things you shouldn't be doing with the person that you're dating? And being limited You can let us know In the comment section Down below Or hit us up On social media About our thoughts And let us know What you think about it Or other future topics You want us to speak on And shout out to everybody Who actually does that I do appreciate you I do appreciate All the messages And all the feedback That we have been getting On this podcast Good people Yes And also shout out To Inspired Dreams He's the the creator Of the hats That you're looking at right now If you're watching the video There's some hats on the table That are made by a man Named Aaron Who runs a company Called Inspired Lost Dreams He has an IG page And he's created Um Merchandise for us before because like now you messed it up and it was set a certain way for the I, cameras. Thank you, Akai. I was looking at so it. So you can shout him out, and eventually he will be on the podcast to, like, to talk more about how oh, he did okay. all this and his opinions on the things that we talk about. So shout out to him too on the ads. And if you want to cop some, hit him up on IG at Inspire Lost Dreams. Definitely, hey. definitely good quality hard work. You know, yeah, it's definitely some I dope stuff. It. So now, Next all of that serious stuff, let's move into some funny stuff. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Perfect. More, more of the Stefan, like Stefan's mic being taken away from him because that shit was mad. Funny. I swear That's to God, I'm swatting his hand next time, bro. <laughs> 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 you let me talk. <laughs> 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 
Tone Cat keeps taking the mic away from Step One as he's talking to adjust the set for the cameras. <laughs> and Step One is just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he's so That's funny. No funny. Every if we could time. just no, listen, he looks so lost. Third time, I'm going to throw an elbow. You better just watch that. It, it was like it happened. He was like a deer in headlights. He just, <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, you just notice Step One stops talking. Like Step One just, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's what I'm talking about. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't give me my mic. Yep, yep, yep. Turn to Fred Flintstone. Oh my goodness! But to move on into <laughs> some some lighthearted stuff, you guys want to talk about power before we go into the next stuff? Yeah, Let's man. Just the, Yo, the power episode. We just watched this before. You were supposed to watch it with us. You're not a real friend, so I just have to let you know. Boo! Get the fuck out of here! Right. I'm gonna slash your tires. <laughs> <laughs> you get have fun getting home in the. I'll drive the Uber, bro. I can get around. You, you don't have your just, Uber with you. I call my friends. <laughs> you, we we are all your here. friends. You don't drive Uber, all right? You have Uber, Uber friends. friends. Uber there. drivers don't have souls. I know y'all don't have friends. Y'all got no union. Y'all don't even oh, like four tires. <laughs> <laughs> his insurance. Oh, get the fuck out of here. His right. insurance gonna pay for all four tires. Tone, take his mic. There take you go. Mic. Exactly. Take his mic. Tone, the producer is back. Take the mic. Third time's a charm. But the power episode. Mm. It was. I enjoyed the episode. It was like me. Me and Evan both agreed it was a nine out of ten. It was a very good episode. Thank you for telling my opinion before me. <laughs> it's what I do. He speaks for you now. Ooh, get the fuck out! How of many here. times are we getting out of here? I'm getting him the fuck out. Of here. Good. Him on. You good, bro? Thank you. <laughs> He's not coming in my way. I get an applause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to cut his applause short. He's hating on the applause. Y'all always do. Go ahead, Akai. What did you think of the episode? I thought it was masterfully done i love the way that 50 cent played off of the special guest i don't want to reveal it and be too much of a spoiler it was revealed it was yeah, it okay was kendrick kid. lamar was he, he was and he what was, do you feel about kendrick's performance i really loved it because like i don't know if most people watch like the afterthought thing or anything like that with the producer and everything but she Courtney explained Kendrick, it yeah. yeah she explained it and was basically like hey um we ask everybody to play the opposite of themselves and he did it perfectly he was really down with it I mean, for somebody like Kendrick Lamar, who has so many personalities in his music and so many like vocal inflictions, and yes. that's why he has a lot of variety in his music that he can touch on so many different topics and, yes. and hit a lot of genres of music as an artist. I felt like him playing that role was just him also exercising that talent of his. Yeah, mm. that his many like facets of vocal inflictions and sp- um, speech patterns, storytelling. Mm-hmm, mm. That he got to, he got to like really express that in this episode, mm. which was really really nice to see. And luckily, his character walked off the episode the way that he did. Yes. So it would be nice to see him on there again. Could. Like, yeah, does it have to be could. on the next episode? Maybe next like season? Three, four episodes, he could be yeah. a reoccurring just, character, yeah. Like, yes. like uh, Bubbles from like The Wire. Well, actually, Bubbles was on there. Like he was. I don't know if you watched The Wire, Evan. <coughs> no. You ain't real. Get off the show. I was Press just your about button. to. Get, no, I'm not pressing my button. Get the <laughs> fuck out <laughs> 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 no, Hey. No. That's not fair. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Did I you, tried. You say you like the episode. What yes. about Tariq's performance? <sighs> People can't Kendrick, see me Kendrick's performance was amazing, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Wait. Can we talk more about Kendrick's performance instead he was of Tariq? Because I, I can't stand Tariq. I just... Really? I liked him in this episode. You are probably the only one. I mean, no. <laughs> Outside of this the actor. Epi- no, this episode finally gave him a chance to, like, explain himself. Because a lot of the time, he just be doing a whole bunch of fuck shit and never explains it. So people just grow to hate him because cool. we never get to see his perspective cool. on how he views things. So, yeah, he could still be wrong. But I, I'm glad that he finally got the chance to, like, explain his own point of view and why he acts the way that he acts. But do cool. we really fuck care about his perspective? Exactly. Because I don't really care they about Tariq. We Did should they? really address Tariq. He sat in the car and said, why did you do this? I feel <laughs> like that's a bullshit answer. <laughs> yes. Don't do Go it. Go ahead. Play Don't. it. Boy, get the fuck yes. out of here. To, to Imagine re- your finger hover for a second. As you. <laughs> I'm just I saying, didn't want to do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, aside from all the, the, the BS that happened throughout the episode, it was just adding to it. And the fact that he just came out like, oh, man, yeah. I don't care. Like, at this point, you had <laughs> you had so long to do this. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't. <laughs> you killed your sister. He did it. That, th- so all of that could have been avoided. I mean, granted, Ghost being the father of the year just did not help. <laughs> but at the same time, like Ghost said in the episode, like, yo, you had the chance to step up for your sister. Like, you had the time. To be able to do something to help 
and, and look at what happened. And so no, what yeah. it what it is is like, 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 go said it in the episode. I'm trying to build a better life for you than like as a child than what I had in my childhood. And then Tariq is just like he's saying, okay, that's all well and good, still fuck you, which like I'm I'm teenage huge, angst. I'm huge against like I'm hugely against like disrespecting your parents no matter what it is that they've done to wrong you. So like I I really really like that one scene when Ghost came home and then was about to. You never had that shit. type of moment with your dad with your dad before like we wanted to fight him. No, I didn't get the chance. <laughs> you made everything sad. I want to move on to somebody who had the chance to fight their father. Let's, I just want to speak to I him. Did. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> hey! I could that. It's all sight. It's just a different thing. Yeah, have you ever wanted to fight your dad before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever wanted to fight your dad before, Kai? Not my biological dad. That's is crazy. I got another nigga that I got to fight. <laughs> Why you look at Tone? Because he could be here. <laughs> he could be watching. Oh, you want to? Oh, the guy Wait, that you want to fight. If you watching, what's up? I'm good though. Just so go, just go fight him. <laughs> no, get so wait, no. I have to get having that ticket. feeling. Can you can you at least relate to that? I would say I can relate situation. to that. And the only reason why I'll say that is because there's just like you know that animosity of like not knowing. Like a perfect example in that episode was um, Tommy. The I'm sorry, but the realest nigga in that in that damn show and he's not even a nigga like i i just say this he spoke to him and he said you know what you don't know nothing like he talked to to Regan's like you don't know nothing Which like you true. really don't true. like you can't at that age especially you can't formulate that like you know what he is looking out for me he tried he didn't know how to go about it it wasn't the best <laughs> it definitely wasn't my sister's dead because of it but you know, he's still like teenage angst. That's all you're really chalking it up to at the end of the day. But it's, it's normal. So that's why I'm like, it's normal. Exactly. Even though it's not an excusable ans- like, um, act for his actions, but it's just like, it's understandable yeah. from his point of view. But that's our thoughts on power. Yes. It was a good watch episode. It. It's a really watch good it. episode. Definitely watch it. There was you know, a lot they, more that happened. <laughs> there was a lot of bullshit going on too mm. in the show, but this was a really good episode. I'm not even going to hold you guys. It was Fuck a good great. episode. So moving on to our next topic, the yes. fun topic. Ooh. Another fun one. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Make sure my mic is still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically I'm gonna do my dramatic read on some. I found something interesting on the shade room. Ooh. So, oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got some breaking news from the shade room with your reporter Evan Cumbas. Drama for your mama, coming live with our reporter Evan Cumbas on the scene. Thanks, Jenny. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jenny got a deep one. <laughs> So the post on the um, shade room that I wanted to talk about, you guys, is um, it's a post that says, "Men, give your fellow males some relationship advice." Oh, geez. And I just wanted to go through some of these comments to get your thoughts <laughs> on some of this shit that I read. First, I'm gonna start off with a good one that like. Seemed, en- wait, before you go, did any of your friends like put any shit on there? That, no, like, my friends ain't suckers like that. Good. If answer. I would have saw y'all in the comment section <laughs> in the shade room, oh, I'm flaming y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ever catch me <laughs> screenshots, and all. yeah. If y'all ever catch me on there, please. sometimes I think I'm quite hilarious, so I'll put like a little caption. You got a different account, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> no, he got a burner. <laughs> no, account. I don't. He got a ghost account. <laughs> hey, listen, kind of Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will know. Flip it on him. Nobody will know. You ain't low. <laughs> but one of the um funny story, one of the funny, well, one of the um better, well received comments on there was from DJ Damage. He said on there, <laughs> "What? That sounds perfect." DJ Damage giving out relationship for us. Bah, 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 bah. Won't hurt your relationship at all. <laughs> Won't. Not at all. <laughs> Yo, Adam, you good, one. bro? You been late with those today? I know, I know. But he Step says, it. DJ Real Damage says, get a calendar. <laughs> On that calendar, mark three random days each month. On those days, you will do something special for your lady. Could be something big or small. The key is never forget to be, um, never be predictable, but always be thoughtful in your relationship. Is that good advice or bad advice? What do we feel? Bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> Only because is he really gonna look at the calendar? I mean, you can set it in your phone. You, you so can set upset, it as a, bro. I, like, I'm damn. telling you from a busy person's perspective. I could have a calendar. That shit will never exist on a daily But basis. if you put it in your phone as a reminder to do something, then <laughs> he probably gonna just swipe the notification. Calendars and don't. It. Exist. That's what you would do. Oh, I no. accidentally do it all the time. Really? <laughs> bad boyfriend ass. <laughs> 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 I have a terrible memory. My bad. Like, 
I I I like that idea. Like you know, like trying to surprise your your significant other with like something three like three random times a month. I'm I'm cool with that. But it's like I like he's making it sound like it has to be the same three random days a month, like third, the seventeenth, and the twenty fifth, like that, like of every month. And she's gonna be looking for that every single day, <laughs> every single month. Just like it's June third. Ain't shit happening. Right? <laughs> well, what are flowers? What a fl- word? Where's my edible arrangements at, nigga? Like what's going on? But if it's just <laughs> <laughs> so you just trying to get <laughs> told you to have my edible arrangements ready by the Why time I Why you make it sound like you have the most hostile girlfriend ever? <laughs> She's like, ready to fight. She you be dating chicks from the Bronx, don't Yo. you? <laughs> you be dating chicks from the Bronx who be ready Shout to square out to the up. Bronx. The they be in the barber shop with Yo, you, right? Please. <laughs> Please downplay that because we, we we might know people in the Bronx. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Me? Because we don't have that much time left. I don't want to get clapped. But no, no, no. What I what I honestly think about it is just, you just. <laughs> it, but that advice, that piece of advice. I want to read more comments. You, you shouldn't have to, like, put that on a calendar because you should just want to do that already <laughs> as a boyfriend. But if, what if you're really busy? But if you're really busy, then you know maybe you're not really thinking about that person. And so you, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. You might need a reminder. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you it should just be instinctual that you should want to do that. But that's just me. All right. I, but if you no, have no, to no, remind no. yourself on a calendar, like as I would feel, most guys might need to put it down. It sounds at least nice. Well, no, I, you're being I thoughtful. I'm not trying to disagree with nothing you're saying. I just yeah. want to get to other comments. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, go. Um, somebody else said, silence is a woman's loudest cry. Do not frustrate her into silence. Mm. Happy wife, happy life. Mm. What if she just don't talk that much? That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't like talking. But this ain't well, this, that oh, okay. don't frustrate your woman into silence. Honestly, mm. what do y'all feel? Because I got some real angry, <laughs> angry opinions on that what? one. I do that shit what? No, I want to hear. I wanna, <laughs> no, oh, been perfect. Take his just, mic. Take his mic. Don't take don't his mic. <laughs> take I purposely his make you mad, though. Just so she won't talk? Sometimes <laughs> that's Some, evil. No, 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 no. But yeah, but no, I do it sometimes. It makes it better because, like, oh, you mad? I'm gonna make up for it later on, though. Boo! <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I know you mad. I know you mad, but throw some flowers in your face. But don't. <laughs> that's no, matter. that's like a setup. Don't do that. Just buy the flowers. You didn't have to do the first part. Yes. It's just fun. <laughs> You're an evil fun. person. He's wearing the shades for a reason, ladies. Yeah, I'm exactly. not talking to you no more, bro. <laughs> so I got some other stuff to talk about in this podcast. I feel like, well. You shouldn't make your woman mad to the point where they get silent. But women, if you do feel mad at your man, please speak up. Don't be silent because sometimes men don't notice that. They don't pick up on those social cues. They don't pick up on that body language to understand that something might be wrong. That's why you're silent. And when you say that you're fine, not everybody knows that that doesn't mean you're fine. Yeah. Some people are stupid, like me. <laughs> I might think you're actually fine. <laughs> I might just think you're actually fine. Um, I like this one. It says, be the type of man that doesn't need to look at Instagram comments for advice. Mm. You made us feel dumb. But he's Boy, in the comments. The <laughs> but he's in the comments giving advice. Somebody else said, even if she's wrong. <laughs> wait, <laughs> even if she's wrong, if you see that it's really bothering her, apologize. Sacrifice Whoa. your soul. <laughs> Fuck <Whoa>. that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No! 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 I didn't even no! 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 no, no. no. If you wrong and you mad, stay I, mad. I didn't even finish. <laughs> you don't gotta finish. <laughs> Hold on. Moving on. Hold on. No! Button. No! 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 no. <laughs> I need to speak on that. If you're wrong, you need to you need to step up, adult up, not man up, adult up, adult up, and admit that you're wrong because there's nothing there's nothing more childish than being wrong and then and not admitting that you're wrong. Like that shit is that shit is super immature. If you know that you're wrong, just step up and be like, you know what? I fucked up. I'm wrong. You right. Let's move on. Go ahead. I feel like people have like the hardest time looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like that's all I can say. Like at the end of the day, okay, if you're wrong about something, I understand. Yeah, own up to it. But people just have like they don't want to look stupid. Like, they, like getting pride, a mic taken pride. away. It's, exactly. It doesn't come down to a man or woman thing. It's a human thing. Nobody wants to look right, stupid. Keep looking at me. <laughs> keep looking at I me. I have no problem looking stupid. Google. <laughs> That's all I got to say to you. Well, Google. You being on this podcast has proven you have no problem looking stupid, no. Stephon. Exactly. Hey, hey. <laughs> Just want you to know that. Where is the air horn when you need it? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Hold on. 
I'm yeah, like, changing in post. It's coming. Yeah. I put the wrong one on. But I also wanted to go on. There's another post on the shade room about women mm. giving other women <laughs> advice for their relationships. Oh. And let's read. Let's go That's through some of this. It He's coughing again. Just to make sure that we go through. It, make, we're even. Cover, cover yeah. all spectrum. Exactly. First piece of advice. He lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Period. That was it. That, most times that's true. No, that, most times that could be true. We lie about the most right, mundane that, shit. So I'm next sorry. time I'll give you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we be lying. Uh, <laughs> a woman's intuition is her superpower. Trust it. Believe it. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck that's, that. That's because <laughs> they always think you cheating. <laughs> that's it. <a laughs> <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> I'm gonna oh. find out. Why are you? Sh- Wait, there's some good <laughs> advice here. This things like one person said. No man is perfect. Accept him for who he is. Give him credit for trying and doing his best. Everyone has flaws. Stop nagging and complaining. Girl, let your man cheat on you and go. I don't understand. Why would you say that? This sounds like somebody who's been cheated on. Wow. He's, He's like, like, don't crazy. worry about Whenever it. Whenever you started off with no man is perfect, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to say that. You shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. But should. it's trial and error, unfortunately. You can say it's accept your she man's flaws. Of trial and error, then. Yeah, accept it. Yeah, that would be better. Oh, wait. Here's a long one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have time for it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to do this, and we're going to close out the podcast. So this will be the last one. It says, don't lose yourself trying to love someone, and don't stick around because of the time you spent with the person. If someone wants to be with you, they will show you through their actions and do everything to be with you. If you do not have to try and prove your worth to anyone, you'll never be enough for the wrong man, And but you will be everything for the... You'll be everything and more for the right man. Also, sometimes it takes losing the person you thought to be the love of your life, to really realize your worth and what you deserve. Main point is to love yourself enough to walk away from toxic people and relationships, even if you're still in love with that person. It may be hard, but God makes no mistakes and trust that the person was meant to be taken out of your life so that you can receive better love. Sunday so service. Get that round of applause. Sunday that was service. a good advice. That's fast. That's, 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 that, that, that's the woman and that's, man. A, that's good. That's that good. Is the one that, yeah. that was good. How y'all I, feel about that? I completely agree. Walking yeah. away even when it's hard? Yes. Yeah, you have to. Even if you do love that person, maybe sometimes the thing that seems more difficult for you is best for them. Mm. And sometimes I, that's what it has to be. I agree. Like so, like sometimes you have to it's it's not just you that's in the relationship, it's it's other it's that other person. But if you know that like it's something I told Akai like earlier in the week, and it's not just for it's not just for the thing I was telling him. Sometimes you have to cut off the dead ends to promote growth. Hmm. Like yes, that's, like that's Yo, how he, I see I, it. I, I think he deserves a applause. That was that was a little wild. Come on, <sighs> give it to him. Give it to him. Ah. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> we got to end the podcast, quick guys. But no, I agree with you. That's nice, Stephon. You had any other closing thoughts? No, nah, for real. That's that, that's facts. Because like at the end of the day, bro, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But you know what? Pain makes you grow. Pain makes you evolve as a person. Pain helps you, you know, see where you need to go and what direction you need to take to improve your life. Hey, yo, but Tone, I love take this him. nigga's Michael. <laughs> but I love her. Okay. <laughs> but I love her. Okay. I don't want it to end. We can work nothing through is, this. Nothing we can work it, through this. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna brush your fuck out of here. But guys, that's literally all the time we have for you this week on the podcast. Word. It's the Can We Not podcast. I'm getting stuff on the fuck out of here. I'm tired of this. But wait, yo, shout out to your social medias for the yeah. people to follow yes, us. Please. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know why you said it to me. This is <laughs> on my social. Host. I'm host. posting it on my you're, social. You're if you're listening host. to this, you know my social media. Just want more followers. I do. But go so ahead, bro. Lonely. Go ahead, Red Jack guy. <laughs> uh, IG and Snapchat both at Rojo Fiasco. Okay, yours. Godzilla underscore kinda. Stefan, yours. IG Confuzzle Bear. Snapchat Pandas be dope. Guys, you already know mine. My Facebook, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. All those are at Evan Come Best. Google Plus, SoundCloud. Can We Not Podcast? If you're listening to this on iTunes, we're on Google Play, we're on Stitcher, we're on TuneIn, we're everywhere, guys. We're so make Facebook. sure we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. Make sure you follow that Facebook we page. Out Shout out to everybody listening and giving us feedback, guys. That's all we have for you this week. We are out of here. We are the best podcast in the fucking world. Everybody, hey, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Goodbye. Peace. <laughs> honorably in our nation's armed forces, and you're looking for a way to continue serving your fellow veterans in your community, then join AMVETS.